All right, howdy, dark friends. So, I got this uh, DMR walkie-talkie uh, months ago, and I destroyed my perfectly good uh, Linux Mint operating system to put Windows on it. As you can see, I'm on Linux Mint 20.2 Cinnamon version. Been doing some research on DMR. Um, I didn't want to have to put Windows back on and I got Wine, the Wine emulator, and uh, tried installing the uh, code plug program on, on the Wine emulator, but I couldn't get the radio and the computer to see each other over the port. So, kind of give up on that. As we can see here, look at this guy, Tom Costello, kd9cpb.com slash QDMR. He and some others have put together a DMR code plug utility. Works on Raspberry Pi OS, NTX Linux, and uh, my Mint machine. I've done a few searches and this guy has a very, very nice blog. Go ahead and read through it. It uh, has a little bit of explanation there, probably some of the better. Um, ah, credit to Hans, DM3MAT. He's the uh, creator of QDMR. This guy put together on his blog a uh, step one through step complete um, how to install this program and uh, he's made it very 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 simple uh, basically read through the directions and then um, follow it step by step he's made it to where you can basically just the commands that he writes are mostly in quotes so we'll start off by typing the command sudo dash s. You can copy and paste it in a uh, terminal, aka DOSBox. See how copy and paste real easy. Press enter, and then you enter your password. And uh, we're not going to do that because I already went through it, but. You just go through and uh, he shows examples along the way as you do it and then just go through and copy and paste every single one of them that's in quotes. Give it time for each one depending on how fast your internet is. But go through there and see, he made it real easy. Okay so all the way through the last step. the. Uh, the one that I didn't do was this one because uh, I didn't need to worry about making a shortcut. So apparently that's all that does is for his little nano is it, it puts a shortcut in his, in his drop down list right there. Um, the, the way that I did it on my mint box it put it in the start menu under the ham radio right there so we're good to go all right so next um, it shows a couple of pictures there that's what it should look like let's go to the actual program um, I already turned the program on so that's obviously where it is right there um, now in Windows they require on your walkie-talkie or your mobile to, to push some buttons as you turn it on. Um, I'm gonna put that off screen, it doesn't matter. If, but basically, you just turn it on and let it boot. And exit, we don't need to. Once it gets completely booted up, see I've got the wire plugged in and everything. All right, so there it is, it's on. Set that off to the side, and now 
you can either go up here to the devices and hit detect or same thing right there the little magnifying glass detect and it says found device any tone AT D 878UV cool to uh, sync up your program with what's in the radio download the code, code plug either there or uh, right there click either one bada bing bada boom give it a few seconds DMR info name intro lines you can you can type whatever you want it comes with welcome any tone uh, I just changed this to my call sign which I think is kind of cool um, whatever works your microphone amp um, that way if you your audio is too hot on your microphone you can change that there you can go through and look at all your contacts I downloaded a list from uh, the interwebs RX groups I've got nothing there yet channels is your memories for your repeaters and simplex and things so I've uh, put the basics the requirements 14652 446000 of course simplex UHF PHF a couple of repeaters in Washington one in Oregon and then the APRS frequency 144.39 here in America um, zones I put the states that I travel through Washington Oregon Cali Nevada Arizona under each zone you can double click on one of your zones and then um, I have added a few channels um, the channels were the repeater frequencies and uh, you can name them that way you don't have to look and remember oh what's channel 1, what's channel 2, what's channel 3 add them, remove them, move them in up or down put them on the top or the bottom on the walkie talkie so when you fire it up it is normal scan list you can add whatever frequencies you want priority uh, whatever just a few things there GPS APRS um, the top one is the analog APRS double click on it you can go in there um, change it to what you want the APRS channel is the 144.39 which is what we uh, looked at in the channels thing there you got to add that there source is your call sign and then your number whatever you want behind it I've got dash 8 for right now how, how wide you want your path whatever icon that you want I just picked a random one because that one looked cool and then a message update period this one's set at 60 seconds but you can uh, you can change that in your handy talkie if you don't have a computer available and then you save it of course I haven't got anything on roaming because that has to do with the digital stuff so that is um, that is about it for this particular program it does have help which is nice you click help make sure you have internet turned on or plugged in what have you of course my is going really slow right now for some reason oh here we go it goes to the DM3 MAT page and uh, you can click on the links and go to each page and just kind of read through it and he has a way to contact get in contact with him and he's got some other stuff going on here too so um, that's been very helpful for some ideas but there we go hopefully that was not too boring but uh, it uh, now works on Linux and I am happy so we're gonna start plugging in some more channels channels <laughs> repeaters right yeah Catch you later, 7-3.